I'm here with my Dash Mini Rice Maker and a whole cup of rice. And the question is, can I cook a full cup of rice in this Dash Mini Rice Maker? Counter cooking. No kitchen, no problem. So this is some, I believe it's white jasmine rice. I'm just gonna pour it in the rice maker. That's what it looks like. And now I'm gonna add some water. So for one cup of white rice, I need to add about two cups of water. So here's the first cup. Here's the second cup. Wow, we are near the top. I don't know if there's like a max line on here or not, but yeah, this is gonna be interesting. So I just plugged it in. I put it on cook. I'm kind of afraid to put the lid on it because I don't want it boiling over. But to get it started, I just put the lid on it and I'm gonna be checking it often, so I'll be back. It's been 10 minutes and this is still heating up. So far, nothing is boiling over. It has been another 10 minutes, so we're at a total of 20 minutes and it's still doing good. We're still not boiling over. This is what it looks like inside. So the rice is continuing to absorb water and I'll be back in another 10 minutes. It has been 30 minutes and look at what is going on here. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Now, the rice cooker has not clicked off to warm. It's still on cook. But I'm going to grab like a silicone spoon and stir this up a little bit. To me, it looks like it's done. I mean, it is just full. What's going? I'm trying to get to the bottom to see what's going on on the bottom. The bottom is still a little bit damp. I'm actually everything looks really good. I'm gonna grab a bowl. I'm actually surprised at how nicely this cooked because there was no boiling over, nothing like was uh, foaming or anything. Like it cooked really, really nice. So I'm just gonna let it continue. So here's a little tiny bowl with some of the rice just to taste it. To me, it looks good. It looks like it's probably done. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's nicely cooked. It might be a little bit on the soft side, but maybe those were from the bottom. Yeah, so I'm happy with this. And here's the rice cooker. It is still on cook. I would assume that it would click off to warm like any second now. Um, so I'm just going to let it continue to go and then I'll let you know if and when it clicks over and what happens to the rice. It is now seven minutes later and it just clicked off to warm. So we're talking a total of 37 minutes and this is how I cooked a full cup of rice. And it's really, really dense in here. Like the rice is firmly, firmly packed, but it cooked and it looks good and I'm trying to just get to the bottom so we could take a look. Let me go get a bowl so I could scoop this out into a bowl. This is what the bottom of the rice cooker looks like. The rice on the bottom is a little, you know, squishier than the rice on the top and there is quite a bit of sticking um, to the bottom and the sides. And if I had like the rice paddle that came with this, I'm sure it would be better than um, the silicone spoon that I'm using, but I mean, it, it is coming up like a lot of times on the bottom of a rice cooker, you'll get like, like, you know, kind of like crunchy bits. Sometimes there's like a skin that forms on the bottom. So that's what's coming up now. There's like this rice skin. And that's what it looks like on the bottom. It's not bad at all. I've used rice cookers before where the bottom will kind of get like, almost like burnt. It'll get a lot darker than that, but that looks good. And this piece is usually crunchy. Super hot, super, super hot. So overall, I would say this was a success and that yes, you can cook a whole cup of 
uncooked rice in a dash mini rice cooker and I think it's a lot more efficient to just cook a full cup at once if you can store the leftovers somewhere or if multiple people are eating then it's better to cook a bigger batch of rice but uh, I'm just gonna I'm gonna work on getting the rest of the rice out of here and uh, yeah so I think this was a success thanks for watching have a great day bye